was very attracted to this movie. It's a coming of age story. A boy recognizes what his life is about, what he's going to be. Ang Lee is creating a movie about the psychology of young men back from war. Being celebrated as a hero, that's got to weigh heavy on a young man's shoulders. If you think about cinema, the technology hasn't really changed since it was invented. We still talk about 24 frames a second. The challenge is how you make cinema evolve, and how you keep cinema fresh. Film is always, you watch somebody else's story. Now you get a chance to step into it. This film is on the frontier of something. It is an immersive experience. Yeah! And that may be the best way to describe the next step of filmmaking. It's a perfect material for me to explore new cinema. It's a director who never wants to repeat himself. He wants to keep pushing the envelope forward. We're shooting with 3D, 4K at 120 frames for a reason. 2D is just a picture on a wall. 3D, your brain wants to believe a 3D picture is real. Aang wants to employ a technology heretofore not utilized in cinematic history. The high frame rate and the very high resolution of 4K creates clarity and a hyper-realism. It takes a virtual reality experience to a different level. Aang's obviously got an amazing vision of what he wants and he can really sense that. I love that it was all through Billy's point of view and looks at the perspective of the people's projection on the soldiers. But you also got to engage the enemy up close. How many soldiers are given that kind of experience? Given. You'll be taken through the day through Billy's eyes. And that is something that Aang and his team tested, developed, and continue to develop as we make the movie. I think people got it all wrong. It's about intimacy. That's what a 3D movie and digital cinema should be. We're a nation of children, Billy. We go somewhere else to grow up, sometimes die. When Ang Lee told me it's a drama and it's in 3D, I thought, what a great idea. It's really good to have you back, little brother. You lose your judgment. You get sucked into that world. And what really happened over there? So you're going to see all these things like you really in the movie. You really, you're Billy. It's going down. What? <laughs> Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk is a particularly singular cinematic experience.